sure if you guys can see that. Just look really closely. But there are tons of gnats and they're taking over the other plants and in the house. This is the plant that I got from somebody on OfferUp. And I'm calling Danzy back home because they are infesting everywhere for him to take it out. And I might just have to get rid of the whole thing. So he's here. Baby, you want to just put it in the front yard? You see it? Mm -hmm. They're like trying to get in the, but though that soil over there is dry. But even when you put up the dirt, the soil inside, mm -hmm. they're everywhere. So I don't know if they was living in there, birth my there or what but it has to get out. I've never seen that many before. You wanna take it out to the front or? Mm. You see it? Mm. Or do you wanna take it out back? Like, should I just get rid of the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah? Man. I mean, maybe you can dig it out and replant it, but I put it over that there. Man. You want the pot? Uh, no. Should I keep the pot? No, I don't want any of that. Thank you. I'm gonna go sit. <laughs> go sit in some water. That was just crazy. That's and it's growing a new leaf right there. So I gotta hurry up and put it on. It's growing a new leaf right there. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys remember when we just had to um, take her out and put her in some water. So I took her and I put her in some water. This is the Monastera because remember it was like infested. I don't know what was in the soil, but it caused all these gnats to come. I just took her out of that soil. I had my husband dump it outside. I put her in some water and some warm water before I transfer her back into a pot. I already have the pot that I'm going to transfer into. I will paint that pot later on. And um, yeah, but it looks like she's getting some new growth right there too. I'm not sure yet. I'm really not sure if she's getting new growth right there, but I do know this is new growth right here. And um, I just want to do my best to make sure she's okay. Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring it in the light a little bit so we can see what's going on. So today is February 3rd. And can you guess why I came back early? Because baby girl is just trying to come early. Please don't mind all the laundry. But it looks like she's opening, but she's not gonna have a split. Oh, how do I feel? I feel okay, if anyone asks. I feel all right, it's okay. Um, as long as she continues to grow and be healthy, I'm excited. Today is February 10th, and you guys, look. Look. It look like it's gonna have a split in it. It's a little tiny one. 
but it looks like it's gonna have a split in the leaf. Wow! So excited. Okay, you guys, today is March 4th. It is my son's yeah, birthday. Yes, it's baby Dancy's birthday today. So let's look at this monstera. So this is the leaves that were here. Uh-huh. And this is the new leaf. And it ended up having a slice in it. And I thought that it wasn't gonna have a slice in it. So let's come around here. Hold on, you guys. We'll sing happy birthday to baby Dancy when he gets home. So let's take a look at the root. So remember when I said all the new white creamy lines those are new growth of roots you guys look how much roots she have gone they have grown so much she is doing really well and i cannot wait to repot her and i'm glad that i was able to do and film this video and this process for this monster i got it from off up we had some changes they had bugs and everything in the soil but you guys she has done very, very well right in this protein cup, okay? Absolutely amazing. So you guys, until next time, stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like you. Peace out.